What's up everyone? Welcome to the Conscious Report. You know who I am. Today we're going to talk about acceptance. Acceptance in all areas of life. We like to look at freedom as an undivided whole. Freedom for the economic area of your life. Freedom in the food. Freedom when it comes to what you consume of your water. Freedom. Freedom as an undivided whole. That's what we're working towards. And for everyone without force. So, let's look at acceptance as an undivided whole. For everyone without force. I can't force anyone to accept any other person. But I want to talk about the, the necessity, what I believe the necessity and the importance of acceptance. Acceptance of ourselves and acceptance of each other. I was thinking about this because I uh, the other day I posted online something about um, reminding people that as an activist and doing these podcasts and just different things that as this grows and I look for new ways to try to reach out to people that I'm trying to remember to keep myself grounded and remind myself constantly why I got into this which is, is just to help. I, I got into being a Houston freethinker, being an activist and doing all these sort of things to help people and to also as a sense of uh, survival instinct that I wanted to help myself and figure out what to do and I quickly learned that together we are stronger and um, along that path um, all these things have come along like sitting here talking to you but I'm making no efforts to be somebody that I'm not I'm trying to stay true to who I am and to do what I can to reach as many people as possible to help however I can because I think that that is an objective and a duty for a lot of us and so I'm trying to help however I can but reminding myself that I am just me and I can't be what anybody else wants me to be so I may not have the haircut that some people want or the dress that some people think I may need to affect more people or to reach a larger audience or I may not talk exactly the way you believe I should and all these different things and I appreciate those opinions and I'm willing to listen to them but I'm going to be myself and I want you to be yourself because I'm not trying to lead you I want to help inspire other people to lead themselves and that was is what has inspired me from others who have taught me the same thing taught me to think for myself and to push others once they start to look for answers to help guide them while I can and push them to create their own ideas and to build to build um, their own character and so I think it's important for us to remember that when you're born into this system, this matrix, this state, we're fed a lot of bullshit through the media, um, the, the mainstream media, through television, through movies, through books, all kinds of uh, media. They feed us certain ideas of what's cool, what's accepted, and, and how kids should act, and that you know we're supposed to make fun of certain people, or like you know we should be afraid to act ourselves, and a lot of sexist ideas on what boys are supposed to be and what girls are supposed to be, and uh, how little kids are supposed to act, and all these different silly ideas that are just that are silly ideas. They're society's ideas on how to create a sheep, how to create somebody who's easily molded and stays in the lines, they, you know, they, they color in the lines, they, they fly straight, they fly low, they don't think outside the box. And not to say that people who think in those ways, that there's anything wrong with them, but there's no such thing as a one-size-fits-all life. For some things, for some people, some things work, for others, they don't. Everybody has to find their own path and find their own way. And everyone does that by, by trying things. How would you ever discover who you were if you didn't live to your fullest being, if you didn't ever go out there and give it a shot? And you thought, you know what, I want to spike my hair up crazy today. We'll do it. And then you go give it a shot and maybe it feels great and you do it again. Or you decided, you know, you wanted to, uh, to read a book and stay home and do that instead of drinking and going out and drinking and just being a drunk ass. Well, you like that better. Well, whatever your decisions are, they're your decisions. Remember, 100% responsibility, 100% self-rule. You take responsibility for your actions, whatever they may be. So, we can be there to help each other and to assist each other in our journey and on our path, wherever we are going. But also, let's learn to accept each other, you know. When you see 
friends and family, people you care about, and you see them screwing up and making decisions, um, bad decisions, maybe bad decisions according to you, but let's say unhealthy decisions, whatever they, that may mean, unhealthy decisions, you do your best to assist them and to guide them, to offer them a kind word, to, to be there to help them but allow them to make their own mistakes. I know plenty of times uh, when I was getting to you know where I am now and I was screwing up and getting, I was on a lot of drugs and going in and out of uh, jail and prison that there were people there who were, who were looking out for me and who were offering me lessons but I, I, I felt very alone. I don't think even if if somebody had told me what was going to happen I would have listened you know because I had to discover it for myself you know I had to go through those painful lessons that I'm sure tormented uh, members of my family and friends and tormented me while I went through them but they were what I needed to go through so a lot of times we need to make mistakes and we need to learn so and also what's a mistake to you or what looks silly to you what looks funny the way somebody dresses or acts or speaks or thinks is who they are and remember that every time you reject or make fun of or whatever it may deme demean somebody else's behavior or attitude or, or beliefs you're accepting the bullshit that the state the matrix the mainstream feeds us and tells us is right you know they tell us how to wear how to wear something what should be uh, worn how, how much your clothes should cost what food to eat all these different things do you want to be the product of billboards and television commercials and taglines on the television and internet ads they have algorithms that can monitor your every behavior online and feed you an ad because that's how well they think that they have you down. They think that they can define you through ads, through, through internet ads and through television uh, and billboards and all these things. That's what the state, the system, this consumeristic material aspect of our society thinks you are. You're more than that. We are all more than that. So let's learn to accept each other and accept what we're putting out and help each other when we can. Because what they're showing us and what they're feeding us is a fallacy. And it's, it's only a ghost of what we could really be and what we could really achieve. If we learn to accept ourselves, that's where you got to start. Of course, I'm going to keep going back to that. It starts within. You've got to accept who you are, learn to love yourself, forgive yourself, heal yourself, and push to be the best you that you can be and, and let others know that you accept them as well. That's how we're going to create a society without a state, a society without the need for government, a society that voluntarily chooses to work together. So remember that. Accept each other. Love yourself. If you can hear this, you are the resistance.